What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna run down my history of doing Funko News on my channel. And this was voted on by my patrons. Uh, previously, my patrons actually wanted me to do um, essentially a full overview of my time on YouTube, which that just felt way too broad to me. And um, that's why I want to do something a little more scaled down. And I've been giving them options um, on, you know, since I've had my patron, uh, my Patreon account. So yeah, this was an option that I put out there and it just won by narrow margin. It won the vote. So that's why I'm focusing on the history of Funko News on my channel. Now to start off with, uh, I started collecting Funko Pops at the end of 2015. And then at the beginning of 2016 is when I really got into YouTube. And I knew that I wanted to have a series going. If you've been with my channel for a while, then you know that I am into doing series. So I came up with the idea of this series called Saturday Night Vlog. And you're actually going to see some images from the, uh, the early Saturday Night Vlogs videos within this video. So the concept basically was to have a video that would just encompass my week of collecting. So uh, yeah, that's why I would do it Saturday evenings. And uh, it was sort of a play on Saturday Night Live. And it was sort of a parody of a Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live episode or like a late night show. I would even do like a silly announcer voice and things like that. Just having fun with it, being very silly. And um, it, like I said, it would encompass my week in collecting. So I would have uh, some hunting footage sometimes. I would have uh, footage of other figures I may have picked up. Like I was into the Metals diecast figures for a while. So I had some of those in the video. Um, also, I was focusing on grails that I wanted, um, just pops in general that I wanted to add to my collection. You see where I'm going with this, you know, so I started to pay attention to upcoming releases and that is something that I started to put in the video as well. Mainly to keep myself on track, to be honest, because I want to pay attention to what was coming out. So basically, again, I had Saturday Night Vlog and it had these different segments going on, like Pop of the Week and all these things. And then I would wrap it up pretty much with upcoming releases. So that part is part of those uh, videos that people really started to pay attention to because, of course, you know, collectors like to be informed. And uh, I started to expand on that more and more as being a, a segment within that series. And then uh, there was another YouTuber, Fact Toner. I would follow his channel and um, he would do uh, Funko News videos sometimes. He would he would mainly do like haul videos of pops that he picked up and sometimes he would do hunts. But he started to do Funko News videos and he, was, he did a great job with them. He was very concise and got a lot of information across very quickly. And I would comment on his videos and then he started to comment on mine. And he actually suggested to me breaking up my content more because I won't lie, the Saturday Night Vlog videos really were wearing me out because they were long form videos, sometimes being as long as like 45 minutes. It was just putting way too much on my shoulders, you know, especially for a small channel uh, doing that long of videos. Yeah, it was just way too much. But, uh, you know, some people were into it. You know, some people like form content. But he suggested to me that I break up my content, you know, to have separate haul videos, separate hunt videos. And he said he felt like, you know, the news videos were, um, you know, the news segment was really starting to take off and get attention. So I took his advice and I broke up my content more. And that really was the genesis of the separate Funko News videos. And um, like I said, you'll see some footage here of, you know, like one of the earliest standalone Funko News videos. So again, it was early 2016 where I really started to do Funko News on a regular basis. But it's not like I had a set schedule, though. I wasn't doing a Funko News video every single week. Um, I mainly focused on like big events like, you know, um, conventions and Black Friday when that rolled around, you know, and uh, but I did uh, pay attention to the numbers. You know, I, I would see the amount of views and the amount of likes and all of that. And, um, you know, I just realized, you know, like this is becoming a thing on my channel. So let me expand on this. So to start off 2017, that's when I really started to do a Funko News video every single week. And uh, because Funko has so much going on, it got to a point, of course, where I had to do two videos a week, you know, just for the sake of time to kind of limit the time on the video. So, yeah, that was really like the genesis of it and how it expanded. And along the way, I have tried different things and I actually do take uh, a lot of feedback into consideration. I know there are some people 
that check out my videos that never want to give me credit for anything you know some people feel like i never listen to viewers which is absolutely not true because if you go back and you check out some of those early funko news videos and you compare them to the videos that i do now you will see that i took a lot of viewer suggestions into consideration and then put them into practice so for example me starting off by focusing on what is available now in the wild you know what's available in stores right now and what's available online that is feedback that i got you know that's based off of feedback that i got from viewers you know i took that suggestion even the rumor mill which i don't do a rumor mill every single time but if there's enough rumors out there then i will share some rumors about upcoming figures again that's based off of suggestions from viewers so you know i do try to listen to my viewers and i do take some suggestions but it is impossible to satisfy everybody and that is a lesson that i learned when um there were some people that were very vocal about how they just wanted the information even though i had stated before that you know i can't be a machine just spitting out information but i tried to be accommodating so what i did is I would do my regular Funko News video where I shared my opinions and everything and then I would do a version that had no commentary on it and people still found a reason to complain even though I was basically giving up ad revenue you know doing these shorter videos so that's when I scrapped the shorter videos and I just decided you know I'm going to do things the way that I feel I need to do them I'm going to do things the way that's going to make me happy because you know obviously i'm trying to help out the community but i gotta be happy doing this as well i gotta enjoy what i do if you know the amount of time that i put into these videos you will understand why i feel like it's fair for me to want some ad revenue out of it and uh just to let you all know though uh the average funko news video takes anywhere from like four hours to as long as eight hours and I'm not exaggerating and that's not including the research time because I'm always looking for information I literally check my phone multiple times an hour to see what new Funko information is out there I'm constantly checking for that information and then when I sit down to do the video like I said a minimum a short video usually takes me around four hours but it can take me like almost all day to put a video together because I like to try to put together a quality video especially with the images and especially trying to get the information accurate but I will tell you though it does definitely wear on me because I do these by myself you know I, I work independently with this putting the videos together so that's why sometimes I do misspeak you know in videos there, there's going to be imperfections because I'm not perfect nobody is perfect you know so yeah that's why that does happen sometimes because I'm usually pretty exhausted when I work on the videos and you got to remember as well that I do have a full-time job you know it's not like I'm a, a full-time youtuber so um yeah I put a lot of work into the videos and I really do like doing them overall because I do like helping out the community and uh, you know obviously it's helped to build up the following on my channel I will say though that it is a double-edged sword for sure because there are some people that feel like my channel is only about Funko News. They don't check out any of my other content, which can be kind of disappointing because I do put a lot of work into my other videos as well. But, um, you know, like I said, there's mostly positives, though. I've, I've met a lot of cool people doing Funko News and I made some friends out of it as well. And, um, you know, of course, I have to deal with negative elements. I block them out. Sometimes it drags me down, though, not just because of the trolls i think some people think the trolls bother me but it's not the trolls it's really just collectors in general sometimes i think focus way too much on what funko hasn't done instead of what on Fun instead of what funko is doing and what is available i see that a lot and it does concern me about where the community is headed because um like i said so many people are focused on what is not available instead of what is available so you know that's unfortunate to see you know so like i said it's not about the trolls because i block the trolls very quickly but i just hope that the community will try to stay positive and uh you know i want to keep things positive on my channel and with funko news something else i got to say before i wrap this up is uh when it comes to funko news i gotta be happy with what i do so you know there are some people that may not like the way that i do certain things and they want me to change it up but i can't please everybody and i have to be happy with the way that i do the videos otherwise i'm just not going to want to do them you know so i hope people do understand that and also along with that 
I have put hundreds of hours, literally hundreds of hours into Funko News at this point. Um, I don't want to say thousands, but who knows? That's possible as long as I've been doing these videos and as many of them as I have done. But yeah, I put a lot of time into Funko News. That's why I really hope people will trust in me to do my best with them. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, you know, especially with me being exhausted half the time when I'm working on these. But um, yeah, I do want people to understand that I do my best, you know, so that's why I do get aggravated sometimes very easily if people try to nitpick on the videos or if people um, feel like they got to send me information constantly when I've already put so much time into doing this i feel pretty comfortable with gathering information and i feel like sometimes that can be a distraction so it's not like i'm trying to be rude to people i just want people to to trust in me to do something that i have been doing for the community now for a good while and something that i've put a lot of time and effort into so yeah i, I just hope people understand that that's where i'm coming from with this that i got to be able to focus and enjoy what i'm doing in order to keep doing this because i really do want to keep doing this you know to help out collectors yeah that's sort of the rundown of my history with funko news and um you know if you have any questions of course drop them down in the comments you know you know anything that comes to mind drop it down in the comments i will check those out and like i said you know i've been open to feedback with funko news i'll continue to be open to feedback but when it comes down to it like i said i gotta be happy doing it the way that i'm comfortable with doing it you know so um yeah i think that's about it you know I, obviously i didn't have a script here i went off the top of my head with this so i hope i covered everything pretty much again the quick gist of it though that like i said the genesis of funko news really started early 2016 and it just kind of developed from there and then snowballed from there into what it is now but uh again thank you all so much for checking out the content you know and uh you know checking out the funko news video you know big shout out to people that check out my other content as well and thank all of you that actually checked out this video and um, i'll talk to you all again real soon